Thank you, Mayor Cathy. So in Division 1, we have been extremely busy and it was fabulous to see we had the first Christmas tree in the region. Um, I've had many compliments for the Christmas tree and it looks absolutely fabulous and brings that Christmas spirit into our town. Of course, this time of year sees school leavers um, leaving school and a lot of them leaving our region and let's hope that if we are successful with the university hub that we will in time have more school leavers staying. It was great to be able to be part of the award ceremony along with our Mayor and Councillor Little at the high school. Um, the Tourist and Development Association are now concentrating more on tourism and they will be sponsoring the Back to Nanango event next year, which is always extremely popular with past residents coming back and present residents going to meet up with them. We attended the local government conference where we um, were very happy to participate in many motions. One that we took forward and that I was particularly keen on was trying to get the building code relaxed. It's very frustrating to see that we have to conform with a lot of things that are in the city and will never ever affect us here. It was great to see the standpipe, work done around the standpipe in Nanango, and I'm hoping to have some funds set aside for it to improve it further with concrete. I attended the under eight day with council staff, um, library staff and Donna from the, um, from the disaster management. And that was great to see all the kids come along and pick up their little goodie bags from council. In Nanango, we have a lot of sporting organisations and one of the ones that was um, held something quite important this year was the Baramba Bow Hunters. And I would encourage my fellow councillors to pop in to the Baramba Bow Hunters one day and just see what a great um, clubhouse that they've got down there. They actually held the Australian um, Championships there just recently. I attended on behalf of my community the Nanango RSL Remembrance Day and it was really good to see the numbers. The Anzac Day numbers are always great, but to see these other ceremonies now attracting community members, paying tribute to the, um, our forefathers. The um, Nanango RSL have also sponsored Burnett Pipes and Drums and anyone who was at the RSL or has seen my Facebook post of the um, pipe band marching into the RSL. It was really, I think a pipe band is always stirs up um, lots of emotions and that was absolutely fabulous. Um, as Mayor Cathy said, we did attend the nuclear inquiry and the information centre and I agree completely with our Mayor that we do need more information on that and it needs to be open to everybody, whether you are for it or against it. I just did feel the one that we had was a little bit of preaching to the converted and I think we need to have a balanced view on that. The um, happy still with the weir and looking forward to working on that closing for the period of the Mary River um, cod, um, breeding, hoping to see that the breeding down there. But one of probably the best things that I've got to report is Ringsfield. So on the first Saturday of the month, we held Ringsfield House open. We had the art gallery open. We had tours of the house and we had Devonshire teas. And it was really an amazing day. So many people came. We also had a band, sorry, who donated their time and played out the back. It was a great day and had so much good feedback so we'll be open again on the first Saturday of next month and we'll be open from 9 to 11. But last weekend we had the um, Handmade Market which was auspiced by NAPTA and it was just, I think they cooked on the Saturday 500 scones and when I left at Sunday, which was just on lunchtime, they had done 270 for Sunday. So they did a, a lot of scones. It was also interesting to see that there were actually a lot of old time locals attended. And while 
it was very busy. A lot of those people, you could see people catching up in the gardens and inside and sitting at chairs in different places. So that was really great to see. And those, the handmade market will be held again at the um, Back to Nanango Day and they'll be doing that outside. So we'll be having the house open for inspection, Back to Nanango at the back, handmade, handmade market at the front and the art gallery going as well. So that's um, oh, one thing I have to mention also when Kathy said about the slashing, but I have to say our gardens are looking absolutely top notch. The gardens at Ringsfield look just beautiful and it's really good to drive. Kathy said about the slashing that she'd seen. I drove her in an Ango and there were slashers out doing, mowers out doing work. It's really great to, to see that. And I think a lot of our ratepayers, you know, they really appreciate things looking so good. So thank you.